doing? Oh, uh, you know, just working on the greatest piece of all time. What? Well, hold up, show me. So, you see, I got these noodles here. We call them oh, your chetties. You gotta put some water in there. And all that. Then we got chicken. Got chicken. I don't got fire, so we just gonna wait a little while. Let the sun come in. We need that one. Yeah, we need sun for this. We do? Uh, we're in Cali, so. Wow. All right, let's wait for it. Say it again? Orichietti, I think that's how you pronounce Orichietti. it. Orichietti. It's just like that, you gotta use the hand signal. Orichietti. Alright, yeah. You guys Ooh. interested? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we're interested. Wow, man. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, you know, open it up. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Wow. So, you know, do your thing. This is a really good magazine. My favorite section is the opera one. Opera is an art form in which musicians and singers perform a dramatic play in a theatrical setting. The birth of opera began at the end of the 16th century with major composer Jacobo Perry writing the very first opera. Wow. So that's where that technique came from back then? In your perspective is the art of creating a vanishing point and giving the art piece an illusion of depth and a realistic view. Man, that's so cool. So realistic. Oh my god. This <laughs> magazine, these pasta, what's better in life? So back in the day, they had these Harley Quinns. They used them for the Comedia del Arte. They just had them as clowns. Just like the Three Stooges where, you know, where they poke their eyes, they make some slapping noises. It was just like that. Just like these clowns dressed just like that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. The Teatro Farnese of Parma is credited for being the modern stage design. That's pretty cool. This thing called the proscenium arch is credited for being the single single point perspective frame. Whoa, that's a mouthful. I wish I could see one of these though. Wait, the Olympico still exists? That's pretty cool. This magazine has a lot of stuff. What I find more interesting is the lighting. Wow. It says there were, there were three types of artificial light sources during the Renaissance. The first one was a torch that was used as a light source. The second was a ceramic or metal oil which burned animals or vegetable oil. And it says the last one was talent candles which had been mass produced by molding since the 15th century. Mm. Bet you didn't know that.